happy that you came here today. We are going to introduce our country, our culture, and our entire so our country is the Czech Republic. Hopefully you know where it is. If you don't, it is in the Central Europe. So the Czech Republic has about 10 million people, uh, but it is twice bigger than Taiwan. Because its location, it is sometimes called the heart of Europe because it lies in the central Europe. It borders with four other countries. In the west is Germany. Austria in the south. Slovakia in the east. And Poland in the north. Uh, the Czech Republic is a parliamentary democracy. The name of our president is Milos Zeman. Our state symbols are the national flag, the state emblem, and uh, the bird in the upper right corner represents Moravia, which is the part of the republic where we come from. Uh-huh, right, and another state symbol is the state anthem. Uh, the name of it means where is my home. Uh, uh, now some interesting facts about the Czech Republic. Maybe what you may know are some composers. The most famous one is Antony Voža or Leoš Janáček, Petřík Smetana. Uh,我们现在介绍一些就是关于国家一些有趣的事情。那第一个就是捷克是非常有名的产，就是他们有非常多的作曲家，比如说，比如说Antony Voža，啊，然后还有另外一位。Uh, one famous invention that comes from the Czech Republic is the contact lenses, which were uh, invented by scientist Otto Wittgenstein. 然后其实呢，以前进的发明的国家也是捷克，那他们那位发明家叫做Otto Wittgenstein。I guess you also know the word robot, which comes from the Czech language. robot这个英文单词其实是源自于捷克的语言的. Now we are going to introduce our capital city, which is called Prague. 这是我们最大的城市,我们的主要城市,也就是布拉格. It's the biggest city in the Czech Republic. It has around one and a half million inhabitants, and it's famous for its beautiful historical monument. 嗯，这个在他们的主要城市，他们总共有一千五百万的居民。然后呢，它非常，它最有名的就是它有非常多的古迹，还有很多的历史古迹。In the picture, you can see the Prague Castle, which belongs to UNESCO Heritage. 然后像我们背后看到这个这个城堡，就是在他们布拉格最主要的一个呃很重要的景点。那它现在是世界遗产的里面的其中一个。the city is also sometimes called uh, the city of thousand towers because, because it has many towers. You can also see the red roofs, which is also very typical from Prague. Uh, 
卡就是他们那边那个他们 flag 里面会有非常多像这种这种塔状的，所以它还有一个命名就是呃白塔之城。And in this picture, you can see astronomical clock, which is also a very famous site on the main square. This is in the main square of Bulaga. There is a main square, which is this one. It is very famous. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from, which is called Ostrava. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from, which is called Ostrava. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from, which is called Ostrava. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from, which is called Ostrava. And now we are going to tell you something about the city where we come from. 它是第三大的城市，在捷克第三大的城市，然后它有三十三十万，有三十万的居民，然后呢，它曾经被叫做是呃捷克最中心的城市。It is famous for its industrial history. It used to be called the steel heart of the republic because of coal mining and steel production. 啊哈，那它还被叫为是呃铁。铁制，应该说，因为它是一个非常，它那边出产非常多的铁跟矿产，所以那边的呃工业非常发达。In the past,、uh, workers from abroad used to come to Ostrava to work there. So nowadays it's kind of a multicultural city, and that's why also there are many various ensembles who perform different cultures and different folklore. 然后呢，在这个城市，因为呢有非常非常多，因为工业发达嘛。所以会有很多不同国家的人民都会来这里工作，所以也造成了就是说那边的民俗舞蹈非常多元。因为比如说有些可能是从波兰的边境，有些可能是从呃其他邻近的边境，斯洛伐克的边境，所以这边的舞蹈非常的有融，就是很融合。In this picture, we can see our main square with the old city hall. 像在这个照片，这个他现在。华蜀指的这个就是他们的呃市政府的市中心，他们的就像市政府市中心那一栋。Here we can see the site of the、uh, industrial museum nowadays, it, but it used to work in the past. 然后那个华蜀现在指的部分，在以前的时候都是工厂，不过现在他们已经把它转型为呃工厂的博物馆，已经没有再继续用了。This is our city hall, which is In the Czech Republic, famous for its highest city hall tower. Ah, 然后呢，这个就是市政府的内部。如果进去就是长相。然后它在捷克很有名，因为它是被号称为最高的市政府那个楼层最高的。And this is a famous street called Stodony Street, and there are about 100 bars and pubs. And so also foreigners come here to to club there for its nightlife. 这个城市很有名，就是这一条街，因为这条街大概有超过一百条的酒吧，所以很多人都会去那里啊 party 啊，喝酒玩乐。Now we are going to tell you something about the traditional region which folklore we perform and which we focus on. 嗯哼，那这个区域它就像我们的区域一样，就是他们是来自 Ostrava， 可是他们的舞蹈是来自 Ostrava 的南边，就是这个区，然后这个区叫做 v a l a h i a Mm, it is called Valachia. Uh, it is situated in the eastern part of the Republic, and it has specific culture, specific costumes. It's quite a um, quite poor region, so that's also why we have this kind of costumes, this kind of music, dances, and so on. 那这个区域呢，它其实是一个非常贫穷的区域，然后它那边有很多的山，那所以你可以看到他们的服装其实是不是非常华丽的，因为那边就生活贫穷嘛，所以他们就呃。他们的服装就是完全是采自于那边的以前的人民是怎么穿的，那他们现在穿的就跟他们一样。There are、uh, some old buildings preserved. There is a Valachian village museum, and so we can see in these pictures the houses、uh, from the 16th to 20th century. 所以像他们那边有很多旧的建筑，像这个就是十六世纪的建筑。Typical church, Delta, and typical house where people used to live. 然后这是现在他们还是住在这个房子里面，就是这种房子里面那边的人。Now we are going to tell you something about our traditions. 然后呢，我们现在介绍一下我们的一些传统。First one we are going to mention is Easter. 
Easter is a tradition that we celebrate on the first Sunday after the first spring full moon and it combines old pagan traditions and Christian celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 然後他們其中一個傳統就是他們會慶祝復活節那復活節的時間呢是在春天的第一個滿月的第一個星期日然後呢他在這個復活節裡面呢會有很多的就是關於耶穌基督他們還有基督教的一些教義然後跟他們的